All right, welcome to another video. We're going to do a bunch of Berlin woodwind demonstrations. First off, a little sextet I composed. sounding pretty good. Next off, we're going to do a bunch of orchestral and wind ensemble excerpts of really famous passages or passages that I kind of associate with certain instruments. All of the major instruments of Berlin woodwinds are in there. I didn't do like clarinet one, clarinet two, clarinet three. Like there's a couple different ones in there, but I only did the first player of each section.
And finally, I'm sure you guys are curious how it compares to Cinematic Studio Woodwinds, the newly released library by Alex Wallbank. So what I did was I went to their website, took their introduction video where they provided some MIDI at the bottom of the website. You can find it yourself. And I just plugged that into Berlin Woodwinds. I changed around the articulations, obviously, using articulation sets to fit Berlin. And I also tweaked some of the note overlaps because the demoer just used the stain pedal to do legatos rather than actually overlapping the notes. And Berlin Woodwinds doesn't support that, so I made sure they were overlapping so we would actually get proper legato transitions for the legatos. And apart from that, basically the MIDI, the automation is all dedicated to Cinematic Studio Woodwind, so keep that in mind. I just basically just plugged it into Berlin and this is what we get. So I'm sure you guys know this, but it seems that Cinematic Studio Woodwinds is a lot drier than Berlin in the Teldex Hall. Uh, but I do prefer the kind of detail that the Teldex Hall brings to the Woodwinds. You can kind of hear the key clicks. The tone of the players is just better for my ear as a Woodwind player. Uh, the Cinematic Studio Woodwinds is not bad by any means. It's very good. If I didn't have Berlin, yeah, it would definitely be one of the first libraries I might get. I find that Cinematic Studio stuff has a lot better programming. It's just more consistent throughout all the libraries. Their delay offsets are all consistent, so it's easier to use. And I just prefer the GUI a lot better too. Now, does that mean that Berlin Woodwinds' programming is not very good? Not at all. Berlin Woodwinds has extremely good programming as well. It's just maybe not as consistent as Cinematic Studio, but it is a lot better than a lot of things on the market. If this video helped you, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This has been DID Choi. See you in the next video.